Well, it is <clears throat> Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. It has been a crazy, oh, I don't know, four, five, six, seven, eight days. It's been a crazy, well, for the last week leading up to right now. It's been nuts. So it started off with. Um, as you guys know, it started off with the walker, um, in the blower system, the vac system on the walker, and I severed two of the fins inside there and literally sliced them that far down, fold them over. I originally thought that I would just bend them back up and re-weld them, but then I was told that those fans in the blower are balanced, so if it's not exactly right you'll just keep tearing bearings out of there I've seen a bunch of guys on YouTube that have welded them back together and it shows all their videos with them welding them back together and things like that but it never shows any update to find out if that is the case and it ended up continuing to do damage so I figured screw it I was just gonna put a new fan in it had the 10 inch fan um, but I figured while I was at it, why not upgrade to the 10 and a half inch, the bigger vac system, or blower, whatever you want to call it. Then I found out that <clears throat> some older units, you need a kit to do that because you have to change the whole jack shaft assembly and then there's a bar that goes across, like an L-shaped bracket that goes across from there and it all connects and that's how the jack shaft bolts in. Um, then you gotta switch it to the new style because you gotta delete that bar that goes across and I sent pictures to the guy that I bought the walker from that owns the dealership and he said it looked like I have the new style mine's a 2004 he said it looked like I have the new style and I shouldn't need that kit which is good because that kit is like 700 bucks um, so that happened last Tuesday and I went I think Thursday and uh, I bought the new, I bought the complete unit, the whole housing, the blower unit, everything, uh, with the new 10 and a half inch fan. It's all one complete unit. I bought that. It was, I think it retailed like 392. They gave me a little bit of a deal on it because I spent a lot of money there. Um, with the new seat and all the, and all the belts I've bought and all the other stuff or <clears throat> just stuff I've done to the walker. So they gave me a deal on it, and I get it home, and I go, I decide Thursday night I'm going to pull the old blower out of there, put the new one in. I've never done it before, so I got the old one out, no problem. I go to put the new one in. I fought with that damn thing for like three hours, and finally about 10, 10.30 at night, I gave up. I'm like, I can't get this damn thing in. I, I It just won't go. And... It, I got it up in there, but to get it all bolted, mounted the way it should be, it just, it wasn't happening. So, I text that guy back and he said, bring it to the dealership. <clears throat> um, Saturday morning, 9 o'clock, I'll be there, I'll put it in for you. He only charged me a couple bucks to put it in. And I, I said, alright, he's going to charge like $30 to put it in. It's no big deal, super cheap. So. Um, I go to load it up Friday night so it's ready for Saturday morning because that dealer's like 40 minutes away from me. And it keeps starting but it won't run for any more than a couple seconds. Keep keeps shutting right off. And when I turned the key forward, the alarm wasn't going off so I knew the problem probably started there somewhere. Well, come to find out when I was messing with that other blower, I'd moved a wiring harness and two wires separated from inside there. But it was all taped up. I, I didn't know. I... So I disengaged the hydros and I pushed the walker myself up onto my trailer, got it loaded up. Saturday morning, I get it there, we unload it. He puts it on his mower lift, you know, it's like a car lift, puts it up in the air. And um, we end up figuring out those wires at the end of the day. But anyway, I spent all day there, come to find out mine is the old style. And that's why I couldn't get the blower in there. So we had to change out the jack shaft assembly. We had to change out two pulleys that were weren't that good, and which it really was a you know blessing we had to do it because all the bearings in my jack shaft assembly were shot anyway. They were bad. So I mean that thing 
was on the fritz anyway. <clears throat> so we got all that done, got everything done, and all I had to do is the chute that goes up through the body, the seat part that comes down, that has to be changed to a new style to accommodate the 10 and a half inch blower system. Um, <clears throat> he didn't have time to do that because he was, uh, he had another place he had to be, and we had already spent the whole day working on this thing when neither of us thought that was going to happen. Um, needless to say, he ended up charging me almost absolutely nothing, um, even though we had to use that upgrade kit because he, he didn't think that it needed it, and I think that he kind of felt bad. He told me it didn't need it, and I'd already spent the money to buy the whole upgraded system. Um, so he charged me like almost nothing. God bless that guy. What an amazing guy. Uh, um, the support I've gotten from that dealership has just been bar none. I've never found another one like it. Um, he's even been in my house to help me fix something or figure out, not really fix something, but to figure out a problem. As you guys have seen in a past video. Um, but anyway, so I got that done and then I got home Saturday. I had to go to a barbecue at my for my family. And then after that, I went over to my buddy's house where we built a bed for this truck. And I... Uh, we cut a hole, cut the hole a little bit bigger, the square hole that goes right behind the seat through the body, and we fit the new one in, went right in, and uh, <clears throat> and then that was Saturday evening, and then Sunday, because it rained all afternoon Thursday, it rained all day Friday, it rained most of the day on Saturday, I had to go out and hit a bunch of properties on Sunday that I couldn't get done on Friday, and he went with me, and said, I'll just go with you. I'll go with you, we'll get him cracked out. So he went with me and helped me out. He brought the cheetah he's had on loaner for four months waiting on his mower. That's a whole nother story. But, um, so we brought that and brought the walker. Uh, the walker wasn't cutting for shit. Um, I didn't realize because it had been through so much last week and I was dealing with so much crap and back and forth. I didn't realize I hadn't sharpened the blades in a while on the walker. That ended up being the problem. So I got the blades all sharpened on the walker last night, finally. He went with me yesterday and helped me mow my properties because one of my customers has a metal fence piece that I moved to get in their backyard. It's been that way for three years. Well, she hired my buddy to, that same guy, to come in and install a, a bifold gate, which is awesome. Super easy. Um, so he called me yesterday morning and said, you help me do that, I'll help you mow your lawns for the day. So, great. We went and hit my lawns and knocked all that out yesterday come to find out the uh i had him using my tiger cat and i had to use my x mark 36 because i have a bunch of small gates on mondays um he says this thing ain't cutting nowhere near where it should be and he was right the duck was off by three quarters of an inch um that has a lot to do with somebody that keeps beating the shit out of my mowers and swears they aren't but i watch them and i know it so anyway so we got that fixed um and now we're on to today's. I have the Walker again, and I have the Great Dane. So we're gonna do Tuesday's list here, and I am going to, hopefully it's a nice smooth day. It's a little bit late, I'm already starting late. Um, yeah, it's like 8.40. I'm usually at this first property by eight o'clock. So I'm gonna do what I can and get today's list knocked out which will be no problem but hopefully i'm not working too awfully late even with my late start but that has been the deal so far oh and i even though the high lifts worked really good on the great dane and the super high lifts worked really good on the great dane like i mentioned in a past video i think i i'm realizing why i always ran gators on the old great dane it just the mouth the opening on the side of the deck is not big enough and it's just it's, it's much better with gators all the time. So those Eliminator blades that I had from the Tiger Cat, they're great mulching blades for the Tiger Cat. They don't work that well at all for the uh, Great Dane. So I found a set of gator blades I ordered for the Great Dane, or for the Tiger Cat before, that every time I put them on the Tiger Cat, I get a lot of vibration and I don't know why. Those blades are perfectly balanced. I've checked them a hundred times. They're not bent. They're, there's nothing wrong with those blades, but they just, it does. I don't know why. But anyway, they're like three and a half inches wide and they're really, really good blades. Um, so yesterday or Sunday afternoon, I 
sharpened them up. They're still like brand new, but I, I put a nice edge on them again. I put them on a Great Dane and I mowed like two of my neighbor's properties and they cut beautifully. They No vibration, no nothing. So I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, so now they'll stay on the Great Dane. Um, that's their new home. So hopefully I'll get some mowing footage today. And that's where we're at so far. Oh yeah, my chickens just got to like five months old, like within the last week. And they told us that our chickens wouldn't lay eggs till around 10, 11 months. And let's see, yesterday was Monday. We were out there Thursday afternoon. And I have six chickens. And we were out there Thursday afternoon filling their feet, both feeders, the inside and the outside one, both waters, inside and outside. And playing around with the chickens for a little bit and everything was good to go. And we had such a hectic weekend we didn't get back out there. We went out there last night and there were 32 eggs inside my chicken coop. 32 eggs. Apparently it's five months, which everything online told me it was five, right around five, six months. They'd lay them, but when we bought them from Tractor Supply, they told us 10 to 11, so they were wrong. But, alright, let's get something done here today.